united with Christ. Meet local churches with open doors serving throughout the Border Valley community and sharing the truth and hope of God's love and salvation. A presentation by KSCE Channel 38 Christian Television. And now united with Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us with United with Christ. Uh, and my name is Albert Ibarra. I'm the Executive Director of Teen Challenge here in El Paso. And with us today is Betty Aguilar, our Women's Program Director, and also Naomi, one of our students as well. And, and God is doing an awesome work in Naomi's life, and we're going to be talking about that in a little bit. But we just want to thank you for joining us. And, and you know, if you have a prayer request, uh, please call 915-532-8518. And uh, if you have a prayer request, if you have a loved one who may be struggling with life-controlling problems, whatever it may be, well, give us a call at Teen Challenge at 915-566-1197 and talk with Betty Aguilar or any of our staff there, and we can do a referral. Uh, our facility is for women 18 years of age and older, and it's free of charge. It's a discipleship ministry. You know, uh, Teen Challenge El Paso is just part of over 240 centers nationwide and Teen Challenge was started by David Wilkerson back in 1957 and when he started working with gang members in New York City and, and if you know about the cross and the switchblade Nikki Cruz got saved and and uh, God did an awesome work and today it's still alive and well Teen Challenge is over 240 centers uh, throughout the United States and there's close to a thousand centers worldwide so uh, God is doing an awesome work of restoration saving and restoring and and so we're here in El Paso, and our facility is for women 18 years of age and older. It's free of charge. So if you have a loved one, uh, no matter, uh, you know, in their 50s or 60s, you know, sin is no respect to a person that doesn't care. It doesn't look at age, color of skin, or economic uh, situation, none of that. Sin is going to do what it's supposed to do. And, and one of its tools is alcohol or drugs or, or chemicals, you know, uh, that people will try, even prescription meds. Right now we're seeing an epidemic of prescription drug abuse, uh, opioids. And, uh, you know, uh, we have our banquet coming up and our National Teen Challenge President, Dr. Joseph Batluck, uh, is the National Teen Challenge President. And he's going to be speaking at our banquet this Friday. And he's going to be talking about what we're seeing nationwide in our Teen Challenge facilities. Because at any given time, there's over 5,000 students in Teen Challenge USA in our men's, women's, and adolescent facilities. And, and, we, uh, and at any given time, uh, and sometime, and, and there's over 50% who proclaim to have a walk in relationship with Jesus Christ. And, and so us as believers, as Christians, if you're watching, us as Christians, we're not immune. Uh, sin and, and, and addictions, it can care less whether one's a Christian or not. And so even us, even us as Christians, we're not immune to what's going on out there with the prescription drug abuse. And, you know, people go to the hospital, go to the doctor and get pain medications and all. And, and those chemicals are going to do what it, they're supposed to do. And so sometimes we get calls from uh, believers, loved ones who are saying, look, uh, uh, you know, my, my daughter's not a drug addict. She's not this or that and the other. And, but she went into the hospital. She got some pain medication. And next thing you know, she's addicted. And now she's lost her job and this and all these things are going on. And, but you know what? At Teen Challenge, there's, not, it's, there's no condemnation. Romans 8, 1 says, For now there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So if you have a loved one or, or you're watching and you're struggling, uh, you know, give us a call. We want to pray with you. Uh, if, if Teen Challenge is the place for you to be, then uh, you're welcome. It's free of charge. We don't charge you. We don't send the girls out to, to raise candies or sell whatever, you know, at the Walmarts and the corners. And no disrespect to Walmart or ministries that do that. But you know what? Here at Teen Challenge, we depend on God's grace and the favor he gives us with pastors and churches here in town. You know, uh, our, you know it, it costs over $15,000 a month to run Teen Challenge. And it, on average, it's about $1,200 per student. But we don't charge them. We don't charge insurance. We don't get, we're not state or federally funded. All our support comes through prayer and asking God and he touches his people. His people who are praying and saying, Lord, where do you want us to send extra funds that we may have? You see, I'm not asking uh, for you not to give your tithes and offerings to the local church. You know, please uh, don't, don't misunderstand me. 
give your tithes. If you're a Christian, give your tithes to your church, your offerings to your church. And if, and if you have maybe a little extra and you're praying, where can we, who can we bless? I pray that the Lord would put Teen Challenge in your heart. Amen. And also, uh, also, what we'd like to do right now, though, is we have a clip from uh, Teen Challenge as well. It's a clip that we want to show you. Uh, it's about two minutes and some of the things that are going on at Teen Challenge. And then we're going to have Betty share about our upcoming banquet, some of the things that we have. And, and then Naomi's going to be sharing what God is doing. You know, if you have a loved one who's struggling or you may be watching and you're struggling, once you hear Naomi's story, it's a, it's a story of encouragement. It's not about poor me and I did this and I did that. You know what? It's about the glory of God and what he's doing and restoring her life. And it uh, gives us encouragement that, you know what? While there's breath, there's hope. You know what? While there's breath, there's hope. Amen. And I hope you enjoy this clip and then uh, we'll see you in a little bit. You know what? A lot of those ladies that you saw worshiping and in the classroom and all, they came to Teen Challenge because sin had done ugly things, you know, uh, uh, addiction, alcohol, drugs, whatever it may have been. And, and, you know, they come in hurting and they're calling out to God for help and, and God restores. Now they're worshiping the Lord where before they couldn't even raise their hands up. The only time they would raise their hands up was saying, I give up, arrest me, you know. But now it's they're raising their hands up because God is doing an awesome work in their lives. They're worshiping. There's thanksgiving and gratefulness in their hearts for what God is doing. And that is only possible through you who pray for us. You see, it's not Teen Challenge that, doesn't, that does it. It's not even myself. I, I'm no one. I'm just a vessel in God's hands. I, I trusted him many, many years ago. Over 30 years ago, I called out to him and, and he changed my life. And, and now we're just a part of giving back and, and what God is doing. There's so many people that are out there hurting. So if you know of someone who can use the services of Teen Challenge, call our office at area code 915-566-1197. And if you want, need prayer for maybe a loved one who's struggling out there, call the prayer line at 
800-800-8518 and we'd love to pray for you uh take it in prayer and and uh so we just thank you for your prayers and your support and also with us is we we have uh, betty aguilar our women's program director she's going to be talking about also how someone can get into the program and, and yeah we're going to be talking about our banquet as well but you know what it's about you who has a loved one that may need a place like Teen Challenge to go, whether it's a teenager or an adult male. Uh, now you know we have an adult female facility here, but if you know of a place, if you know of someone who needs a place to go, give us a call. We can do a referral as well. We're here to serve you. We're not here asking you for anything. We're here to serve you. Remember Jesus in John 13, you know, uh, it was just right before the Passover, and he demonstrated to him his total love to them. You see, he, he took off his outer garments and he put on a towel and he began to wash his disciples' feet. You know, that's the lowest of the lowest servant was the one who washed the feet of the guests. But Jesus did that and the disciples understood. That's why one of them said, no, don't wash my feet. Hey, no, no, and all this. And but you know what Jesus said? He demonstrated to them. He demonstrated to them servanthood. He washed their feet and, 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 and he tells them in John 13, verse 5, they didn't know what he was doing at the time, but later they would. You know, when the ladies come into Teen Challenge, they're struggling, you know, because, man, you know, sin and life has done a number on them. But God comes and restores them. And, and the love of Jesus, there, there's hope again. And, and they're growing in the grace of God. And it's awesome, awesome to see these ladies who, when they first come in, they're hurting. You see, sin is ugly and it hurts us. It hurts people. It breaks our hearts and, and, and it hurts our loved ones because they're hurting for us. And, and we come in and we surrender our lives to the Lord. And, and then it's a process. We begin to see them falling in love with Jesus. And that's what we do in, in, in Teen Challenge in John 13. And then Jesus, once he finished washing this, their feet, he says, right now you don't understand, but later you will. And then he says, you know, now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. John chapter 13 is an awesome chapter of Jesus serving of servanthood, servanthood, leadership, servant leadership. And that's what God has called us at Teen Challenge to be servant leaders. You see, we serve and we teach them and then they learn as well and they go back out into the community. One of our graduates, uh, her name is Rebecca and, and her daughter was in Teen Challenge as well here at our facility, Stephanie. So we're gonna have mom and daughter getting their completion certificates this Friday at our banquet. And we want to invite you. Uh, tickets are $45. A table of eight is $360. It's going to be at Grace Gardens. And it's at 6701 Westside Drive in the Upper Valley. And, and we thank our hosts, George and Sandra Rodriguez, and uh, for being such a blessing as well. So um, right now I'd like to turn it over to Betty as she's got some things she'd like to share as well. Betty? Well, God bless you, everyone. And um, yes, we are excited about the banquet coming up this coming Friday. So the time is really, really getting close. Uh, so if you haven't got your tickets, feel free to give us a call. There's still just a few tables left, a few tickets. Um, so if you want to come and, and hear what the Lord is doing in the lives of these ladies, we invite you to give us a call. And I'd be glad to give you information on that. But I want to share with you here on Psalm 66, uh, verse 16, um, it says, it says, come in here, all you who fear God. Let me tell you what he has done for me. I cried out to him with my mouth. His praise was on my tongue. If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God has surely listened and has heard my prayer. Praise be to God who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love from me. And you know, this is exactly why um, these ladies are excited about giving God the glory because it is he who came and heard their cry when they cried out to him for forgiveness of their sins. And it is him who came and, and completely transformed their lives. As you're going to be hearing Naomi here shortly, um, share a little bit of what God is doing in her life. We're so grateful um, for the ladies that we've seen through um, this year that have come by the center and have gotten there so broken, uh, so um, lost of, of hope, no hope, no, uh, no hope in anything because even family has turned away from them. But then we see God come and restore and begin to work in their lives and we see the families come and visit and, and just um, so amazed at what God does in just one or two weeks. 
when you fully surrender to the Lord. So we invite you to come and, and just rejoice with us for everything that he has done. You know, there is a fee to come to the banquet. Uh, there's, uh, you know, food to be paid for and, and uh, things that, that need to, to be uh, bought for the banquet. So there is the fee to come. But part of that money also goes to Teen Challenge to help us continue to keep our doors open. As Pastor shared, we don't get any funds from government or federal funding, but it's all because of the body of Christ and people who uh, God touches their heart and they respond to him. So if he's been touching your heart to maybe help monetarily, to maybe come and volunteer, you know, ladies, we're always looking for mature Christian women to come and volunteer of their time and just share with the ladies what God has done in your life and just be there. And the ladies learn so much um, there. They have 40 hours of teaching, Bible teaching throughout the week, and they learn about the Christian walk. But it's amazing to have women come and, and let the ladies see what the Christian walk is all about and see that many of you, even though you're going through trials, you're going through tribulations, that you struggle. But you know what? That our head is still up because the Lord is the lifter of our head and he keeps us going. And when the ladies see this, it's a big encouragement for them to hold on to the Lord because yes, they struggle. Yes, there's things that come their way while they're at the center. Remember, they're away from their children from 10 to 12 months. They're away from their family from 10 to 12 months. But during this time, they dedicated to the Lord. They really go before him. And that's why he comes and he transforms their lives. And, and they go back home to be the mothers and the wives and the daughters that their family has been praying for. So we invite you to join us for the banquet and come in here of uh, the testimony of the mother and daughter. They're going to graduate the rest of the ladies and what God is doing in their life now, where they were, where sin had them bound and how low they, they, it took them, but where they're at now and how God has restored them and they're working. Many of them are going to school. One of them just graduated. Um, just so many things that God is doing, but more than anything, the families that he has restored. So come and join us. We're also going to have um, the silent auction, the Chinese auction. We have awesome things, uh, plan for you to just come and enjoy and hopefully be on your way to Disneyland if you win the Disneyland package. But um, there's a lot of other stuff that will take place. And more than anything, uh, besides the delicious food and the entertainment and the fun and the speaker, uh, just giving God all the honor and glory for all the great things he's done throughout the year. So I just want to thank you and encourage you to give us a call. You can call here at the station at 532-8518, or you can call us at Teen Challenge at 566-1197. I'd be glad to give you more information. Amen. Thank you, Betty. You know, it's, uh, we just thank the Lord for the grace, the favor he's given us in the community. You see, Teen Challenge El Paso is a tool of the local church. We're not apart from the local church. We, uh, we take our students every Sunday Sunday nights and Wednesdays, we go to different churches. So, Pastor, if you're watching and you'd like to host Teen Challenge and maybe have some of the girls share what God is doing in their lives, it's not, uh, it's not uh, for Teen Challenge. It's to honor God and what He's doing. And it blesses church members to see how God is still working in the lives of people. And so, Pastor, if, if, you know, if you'd like to host Teen Challenge, give us a call at 566-1197. And I'd like to just name some of the pastors that support Teen Challenge who will be at the banquet or their churches will be represented at the banquet. We thank Pastor Eric and Yaisha Halbeck of Rock Faith Center. They, he spoke at one of our banquets a couple years back, and their church is such a blessing to Teen Challenge. And Dr. Jesse Davis of Mosaic Church, uh, they host our girls and they've done some function for the girls and and so we thank the Lord for them and and Bishop and First Lady Johnson of Destiny Family Christian uh, they support us and they help us out they pray for us and every year during the holidays they uh, they bless the girls they give us donations and so we thank the Lord for Bishop and First Lady and also we thank the Lord for Pastor Eddie Lee and and Linda Lee of Harvest Christian when we first came to Teen, uh, to El Paso when Teen Challenge first started. Back in 2006, Pastor Lee was the first pastor that said, we want to help you. And they started supporting us right away. Even before our first center was open, Pastor Lee says, we believe in what God is doing in restoration, evangelism, outreach, discipleship. And, and so we thank the Lord for Pastor Eddie Lee. Uh, their church has been supporting us as well. And we also thank uh, Pastor Johnny and, and Jenny Terrazas 
of Hope City Community Church. That's where me and my family have been attending. And we thank the Lord, Pastor JT and Jenny, the awesome church. And they support us. They'll be there at the banquet as well. And, and Pastor Susano Carrillo from First Assembly. Uh, I know he lost his mom. The, his mom went to be with the Lord and, uh, a couple of months ago. And, but uh, they support us. They help us out. They cover us in prayer. And, and Pastor Carrillo's uh, niece or, or uh, cousin is going to graduate from Teen Challenge, uh, Sandra. San Sandra Ornelas is going to get her certificate as well, and that's Pastor Carrillo's cousin. So she's going to uh, uh, be getting a certificate. Also, we thank Pastor Mike Woods from Coronado Baptist, uh, one of the first pastors as well with Pastor Eddie Lee that started supporting Teen Challenge. They're missions-oriented, and so we thank the Lord. You see, Teen Challenge is interdenominational trans-denominational. It's not just one denomination and all. It's, it, because, you know, for one thing, sin doesn't care what denomination anybody is from. Sin is going to do, and it's going to try to hurt whoever and, and it can, whether Christian or non-Christian, sin is going to try to hurt people. It's going to try to kill, right? And so, and it doesn't care what denomination. So pastors know that, and, and, they, and they send people, some evangelism teams that go out, will send someone to Teen Challenge to, to get discipled. Just like the individual who was on the side of the road. Uh, you know, he, he was beat up, and, and he was laying on the road, and the Good Samaritan came by, picked him up, and took him to an inn, and told the innkeeper, take care of him, and when I come back, whatever you need, I'll reimburse you for taking care of him. You know what, Teen Challenge is like that inn, and the staff are like the, uh, uh, the, the innkeeper. You know, sometimes church members, the church members or the church will send someone who they, they've reached and ministered to, but they need a place to go. Well, Teen Challenge is a place to bring them, where they will get discipled and cared for and nourished. And Mike Aguilar, Betty's husband, prepares some awesome meals, um, enchiladas, tacos, burritos. I mean, you name it, he cooks it. Amen. So praise the Lord. But some of the other churches that support us are uh, Pastor Ralph and Laura Sanchez of Sun City uh, Christian Center. Uh, Pastor Ralph and, and, and Laura have been such a blessing to Teen Challenge. They do so much for the girls. And some of their members did a cookout for the girls not too long ago. So we thank the Lord for that. And also Cavalry Chapel East, Scottsdale Baptist. Pastor Steve and Charlene Norman of Life Worth Living support us. As well as Zoe Templo Cristiano and Jesus Chapel West. Amen. So you see it's the body of Christ. And so we thank the Lord for that. But you know... All that work and the prayer and everything that goes into it, it's not about us. It's about what God is doing in the lives of individuals. And right now we have with us uh, Naomi. Naomi, share with us what God is doing in your life. And I know you had a verse and then you had a, a character quality, but uh, I know there's so many things. But share with us some of the things God is doing there at Teen Challenge in your life. Basically, the, the most important thing that I've noticed is God is showing himself in my life. Um, before, while I was stuck in my addiction like I couldn't see the light and I lost all hope and I had reached out to God before but I realized this time coming around a teen challenge that I hadn't surrendered totally there was certain things that I was still holding on to and um it came to the point where God took away everything in my life that way I could focus on him and at this point teen challenge it's all about him and now that I have given myself completely to him he's showing himself in my life everywhere I turn Anything that I do, there's confirmation in the word of the Bible. There's confirmation in the sermons that we go to, even though they're different churches, like the messages are still the same. And I know it's God and who, he has restored my heart to have hope and faith again. Things that I never would experience, I'm experiencing them now through Teen Challenge. Things that no one has ever done for me in my life, it's happening because of my willingness to surrender to God. Amen. And there's a character quality that, that uh, one of those, uh, one of the things that the girls study at Teen Challenge, there's character qualities, which is one that you're doing right now. Diligence was uh, the one that I worked on first. And um, it was diligently seeking the Lord that got me here to where I'm at. Like the way that it's unexplainable. It's just unexplainable. When you really do see God with all your heart, he's, he acknowledges that. Like, he honors you. He, Amen. <laughs> like, it's unexplainable. Like, I, there's no words to put it, to describe it. Like, the glory of God, there is no words. It's just such a feeling of emotion and, like, blessing. There is no words to describe it. Mm -hmm. You have to experience it. <laughs> and also there at Teen Challenge, you, you all are getting into prayer as well Everything. in the mornings and the afternoons. And 
What is the Lord doing in the midst of prayer as you're seeking the Lord in prayer? He's revealing to me what it is that has been holding me back all this time. He's revealing to me things that I stuffed in myself and things that that I didn't even want to acknowledge. He's showing me things that I need to let go of habits that were were bad for me. He's showing me thoughts that I didn't even know were bad. And he, he's just showing me the way. And sometimes it's like, it's hard to acknowledge the, uh, acknowledge certain things that he's showing to me you know it's it's hard but i follow what he's he's bringing to me like he's the light and he's guiding me and he, this light is guiding me out of the dark as hard it is as it is and as ugly as the past was it, i still held on to it and the faith that i put into god for pulling me out he's just blessing me and it's been a rewarding a rewarding Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, one of the passages that we like to use is in Jeremiah 29, 11, where God says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. And he goes on to say in the next verse, If you seek me with all your heart, you shall find me. And that's what the, the, the ladies are learning to do there at Teen Challenge. So we want to thank you for praying for the ladies. Naomi is a result of prayer, your prayers and your support of what God is doing in, in the ministry of Teen Challenge. Our guest speaker at the banquet is Dr. Joseph Batluck. If you know anybody from Fort Bliss, a soldier, or, or you're retired, well, uh, Joseph Batluck is, uh, is re retired as a colonel in the U.S. Army. He retired as a, as a colonel after 30 years in the U.S. Army, and he was a chaplain for 30 years in the U.S. Army, and he's going to be our, our speaker. He's now the National Teen Challenge president, and he's praying. He's got, the Lord's put something in his heart for us. You know, if, if you're active or, or you're retired military, you're active military at Fort Bliss and all, come here, Do Dr. Batluck. You know, again, uh, he retired as an Army colonel uh, 30 years and as a chaplain, and God has given him a message, and uh, we want to invite you to come this Friday, October 28th at 630 at Grace Gardens, 6301 Westside Drive. God bless you. Thank you for watching United with Christ. We pray this has been a blessing to you and we invite you to tune in again tomorrow. We invite your comments, questions, or prayer requests. You may contact us at KSEE Christian Television, 2201 East Wyoming Avenue, El Paso, Texas, 79903, or call us.